So we got 52 secrets you didn't know about One Piece. Um, I know no secrets about One Piece besides the One Piece existing. Now let's check it out. <laughs> Facts about One Piece that you probably <clears throat> didn't know. Oda Easy. originally planned for the series to only last for five years with the main antagonist You guys can't be calling them that, bro. What did he do to you? Mostly due to his creation of the Warlords of the Sea. The Supernovas, who have now played pivotal roles since their introduction, were actually a last-minute addition to the story. They okay. were created at Saburi and Oda initially had no real plans for them till he made them. Zoro is initially the only member of the Supernovas who doesn't have a devil fruit. This is because Killer ate a defective smile fruit in Wano, Wait. which technically now makes him a devil fruit user. While we are talking okay. about Zoro, did you know that he was initially going to be a bodyguard to the one and only Buggy the Clown? Panda Man no way! Why would he be a bodyguard for that goon? Bro, he's done nothing in the entire series that I know so far. <laughs> he was initially going to be a bodyguard to the one and only Buggy Bro's the Clown. Bro's a fraud! Panda Man, a non-canon Easter man. appears in several parts of the manga and has even made animated appearances in some One Piece movies, oh, yeah, even though up. it seems like a lot. The events from the moment Luffy leaves to become a pirate till the start of the time skip all took place in a space of only four months, while the anime took around what? 12 years to get to that point. Crocodile, the Sichibukai who controlled Alabasta, briefly thought Luffy was using during their fight. He considered it by saying, really? could it be? Thanks to the manga cover Wait, stories. I thought he brought up using blood. Or that was the old man that was dying that said he's hitting him because of blood on his body. But he actually thought he was doing hockey. That's interesting. We would find out that Mr. Two survived his fight with Magellan and would go on to become the new queen of level 5.5, where the Okamas live and party. Another interesting fact about Mr. Two or Bon Clay is that unlike the other members of I just realized who's on my screen. My number one up. Bon Clay. Bro, this is the goofiest character in the entire show next to the, the dog gun. <laughs> like, come on, man. I don't care about Bon Clay at all, people. I care about with this chick. And for a specific reason. But Bon, what does he have to offer? Nothing. Nothing. It's just Bon Clay. Like, come on, man. Of the Baroque Anybody works. else? He never had a female partner, and this was because he identifies as both male and female. This next fact is only okay. based on the manga. Since they first met each other, there has never been a moment in the story where Zoro called Sanji by his name. Sanji created an alias called Mr. Prince during a small period in Alabasta, and it would later be revealed that he was Mr. Fact, prince. an actual prince during the whole Cake Island arc. Sanji's oh. origins were also teased when he told the crew he came from. This the is North spoiler Earth. central. It would be revealed later on <laughs> that it was indeed where his place of origin, the Germa Kingdom, was. Was. During the later parts of Dressrosa, I'm taking these off for now. I'll put it back on. Um, shown, we never see Conjuro, and this was a great hint showing that he was the mole amongst the Odin retainers. Bro's a well mole. before his first introduction at Wano, there was a brief tease of the sun god Nika during the Sky Pia. What? Well before his first introduction at Wano, there was a brief tease of the sun god Nika during the Skypea arc. In the scene, while Luffy was dancing, for a moment, he resembled the silhouette of Nika that was shown when Jinbei and Who's Who fought. Okay. Now that could be a stretch. I'm just saying. Because, like, bro, come on now. Even, actually, who went back to go watch for, for evidence of this? Come on, bro. But anyways, this could be a stretch. Hear me out. Yes, it's it's not even like the same. Uh, I'll just I'll just say that's a stretch. Serve as a parallel of Luffy becoming the Sun God, which was further hinted via the reveal of his Devil Fruit true name. Minotomo-san was a gag background character created by Oda to fix the door that magically reappeared just after Higuma the Bandit destroyed it. He is an incredibly skilled, what? grumpy short man who can't help but fix broken doors. Just like Minotomo-san and Panda Man, another gag background character created by Oda is Sam, a bald-headed drunk. All three of them have appeared across One Piece media as quick nods and Easter eggs. Luffy once made a weird sketch of a creature that shares striking similarities to Frankie before Frankie was even introduced to the story. Jinbei okay. planned to be a straw I wonder if Frankie's post time skip. But due to the world changing after the events of Marineford, he had to partner with the Big Mom. Jinbei! He would eventually free himself from his foul tumor and join the Straw Hats officially during the Wano arc. Ruma, the legendary samurai of Wano, made his manga debut way before the One Piece thriller Bark arc in Oda's brief multi chapter series called. I wonder if I'm the close Ruma's to. Chapter was called is that Zoro? And... Oh, it's not Zoro. What the? On my screen, my TV was flipping. Oh, my monitor was flipping out. Gil Bostar. 
Not gonna lie, that's a lot of money. Oda's brief multi-chapter series called Wanted. The Ruma's chapter was called he looks Monsters cold, though. and saw the journey of a younger Ruma wanting to be the strongest warrior in the land. The original pitch for One Piece was titled Romance Dawn and released in the Wanted series. Romance it shared Dawn. similar beats to One Piece but had differences like the mentor figure to Luffy not being Shanks. Fans of the series noticed that a lot of the Usopp's lies would slowly turn out to be true. Some examples of these lies manifesting are Tontata Land Existing, the huge mole with Miss Merry Christmas, Dragon on Punk Hazard, Cerberus on Thriller Bark, Giant Goldfish, and more. Interesting. Way before their introduction at Dressrosa, Nolan had visited Tontatas, and it was mentioned during the Skypea flashbacks. Oda is yeah, very specific with his. They thought Nolan was capping, bro. He knew from the get go. They're like, hey, ah, 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 no spreading lies around here. We don't want Christianity. <laughs> I can't. I can't speak. We don't want Christianity over here. None of that fly above the sky nonsense. And he got executed chapter numbers and often yeah, I'm dirty. certain chapters for big reveals. Yeah, putting the for instance, no reason. was introduced in chapter 387 and Gear 4 in chapter 783. While the One Piece movies are usually not canon, we would get a specific piece of canon info in film Z. During a bathtub scene hey, with the male straw hats, Aokiji would interrupt them briefly and it Wait, would reveal Wait, how does Brock have his thing on? Or Brook? Bro, you are pure bones. There was nothing packed in there, bro. Like, give it up. You, you don't need a towel. There was nothing there. What, what are you covering? During a bathtub scene with the male straw what hats, is the point? Aokiji would interrupt them briefly, and it would be revealed that aside from his scars, he also lost his leg during the battle with Akainu at Punk Hazard. This is mm. because Lokia users cannot regenerate severely injured limbs. Did you know that- Wait! Wait! They can't regenerate severely injured limbs. And people will say, well, you know, if if Naruto just hurt one of the Loki users, they can just grow the limb back, whatever. Well, not today, buddy. That's not the case. You're wrong. Your mom's wrong. Your dad's wrong. Your sister's wrong. Your brother wrong. Everybody's wrong. So, if one of those bozos get hit by a true second orb, what are they growing back? Nothing. Because they're severely injured. Tried it. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Hashirama got that now, and I know that. No cap. He blows off one limb with the, uh, a wood dragon? GG's. Hey, what are you gonna do? Recover that? No, because you can't. It's severely injured. Bro, you see, some people ignore the facts. They try to get away with it, make it seem like they try to downplay stuff, right? Sanji was initially huh. going to be called Naruto. I knew yeah, it. That's right. But what? due to the success of Kishimoto's shonen series called Naruto, he had to scrap the idea. All the See, that's no Naruto just peak. That's how you know. He wanted to steal his name. He wanted to take Naruto. Not today, buddy. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> Sanji, Sanji Shaput, Shaput. Oh my God, Shaputin. <laughs> Uh, oh, yikes. Series, what board does be? Bonji? Famous Japanese actors. Oda loves films, and that's why he based the original three admirals on Kuni Tanaka, Yasuko Matsura, and Banta Sugawara, who are well-known actors in Japan. Besides okay. the Marines, other know that. characters are based on several popular real people too. For instance, Frankie's design mirrors that of Jim Carrey in Ace Ventura, and Ivankov is based on Frank Enferter from Rocky Horror Show. Oda decided to give Luffy devil fruit that will grant him rubber-like abilities because he wanted the series to keep its wacky, fun, and childlike Ew. energy no matter how Bro, serious things huge. got in the story. Brooke talked about hearing about a rookie by the name of Roger. This was because he was already a seasoned pirate years before Roger went out to sea with Rayli. Well, this might sound surprising. Rayli? <laughs> I thought it was a really not real lie. One Piece primarily focuses on the life and adventures of pirates. No pirate in the story makes use of an eye patch. However, Oda confirmed that a pirate with an eye patch would appear at the end of the series. So all fans should make sure. Wait. That either... What? I could have swore Shanks had an eye patch. Maybe I'm tripping. I always thought Shanks had an eye patch. Maybe that's like Hanks or something. I'm, I might be tripping. Eyes peeled open for that towards the final chapters. Oda's story of One Piece is very original, but he also does a lot of research and is very fascinated by things like films, books, and history. That's why characters like Blackbeard, Jewel Ribani, and Alvida are all based on real-life pirates. Mm, Two of the Orosai share striking okay. facial similarities to two very 
popular men, namely Mahatma Gandhi and Mikhail Gorbachev, oh, the mountain Gandhi. maiden who gets saved from Blackbeard's minions by the Revolutionary Army during the Revelry arc, actually made her first appearance a long time before that. She appeared exclusively on the manga cover page, which showed her hanging out with Ace. The Revolutionary Army ship is called the Wind Grandma, which is based off the Grandma, a real-life yacht used to transport 82 Cuban combatants who, in the 1950s, planned to overthrow Fulgencio Batista from his place of Batista. power. Batista? birthday with Port Gus D. Ace, and oh. the date is December 31st, New Year's Eve. Oda has publicly admitted that the hardest characters for- Imagine having your birthday on- wait, is Christmas the 31st? Well, you get the picture. Having your birthday right next to Christmas. Do you get a birthday present and a Christmas present? Or do you get one or the other? Because if that's the case, that's just unlucky. Because birthdays, you can get like some crazy gifts for your birthday. And then get something crazy for Christmas. It's like a little glitch. However, because my mom is uh, very uh, interesting. Since my birthday is <clears throat> in November, I don't get birthday gifts like that, right? It comes from Christmas. And if I do get a birthday gift, I don't get no Christmas for the most part. So, uh, that'd be tough. If it's like you're, especially if it's like right next to Christmas, GG's buddy. For him to draw on the story are Shira Hoshi and Boa Hancock. Dragon, leader of the revolutionary, seems to mostly lack the childlike personality that Luffy and Garp possess. However, he does happen to share something else with them. Just like his other family members, D. he does have a mark on the left part of oh. his face via his special <laughs> tattoos. Robin uh, and Us they said they share D. I'm like, okay. But he didn't say that. Sop are the crew members in charge of giving haircuts amongst the Straw Hats. Really? Sabo, the revolutionary and long-lost brother of Luffy, would turn out to have the same design as a character in the manga that was shown in a crowd way back at the Logue town during Luffy's planned execution by Buggy. This has never been officially confirmed, but... Due I think I need to watch like, the first part, because I don't remember time, much. ...and Dragon's presence at Logue town, it makes a lot of sense. Another interesting bit of Logue Town was lightning that interrupted the execution and hit Buggy. This lightning was most likely created by the leader of the revolutionaries and Luffy's father, Dragon. He was present at Logue Town during that time and even had a brief altercation with Smoker. The Nami goat. The first Let's go back to see the that goated character real quick. Present at Logue Town during that time and even had a brief altercation with Smoker. It's like when you see smoke on the screen, it just puts like a smile on my face. You know, it makes me like enjoy life more knowing that smoker is on my screen. You know, I'm not glazing either, but it's just the smoker effect. You know, Nami is the third smartest character to come out of East Blue with only Ben Beckham and Captain Kuro being smarter than her. This was officially stated by Oda himself. Usopp's birthday is on April 1st, and it's extremely fitting because that's the April, April Fool's, Fool's Day, and he's a very good liar. Oda initially planned it's for Goldie Roger's iconic facial hair to actually be nasal hair, but thankfully, that idea was changed. Ooh, nah, bro. And people in my TikTok comments saying, oh, you don't know who Roger is. Oh, Roger's on the first the first episode. He's in the first openings. He's in the openings. He, he's mentioned like a bunch of time visually. Bro, Roger looks different from the scenes that I've seen in Wano or like those things I saw. I think it's Wano. I don't know, but like post time skip. He looks completely different. And I said that before. This does not look like, like the same person. Bro, got a rework. And I'm the crazy one. Like, bro. I, like, I know I wasn't tripping. I swear I wasn't. Because I'm like, who was Roger? I know Roger looked like this post time skip. That is not my fault. I mean, not, well, post time skip. But he wasn't in post time skip. It was like a flashback in time skip. But you get what I mean, right? Iconic facial hair to actually be naked. See? Bro. <laughs> I know. Look at that. A whole different person. Come on, man. Diesel hair. But thankfully, that idea was changed. Oda stated that Akainu's devil fruit has the strongest defensive power, and that he'd probably get to the One Piece quickly if he went out to search for it. This, coupled with his extremely heated personality, yeah, is I why he's them, though. arguably the most dangerous admiral in the story. Law's devil fruit is so important that the world government would be willing to pay five billion berries for it. In his original design, Chopper was actually mm. drawn as a weird reindeer z- Oh, I'm happy. <laughs> Bro, imagine that being Chopper now. 
Yo, Oda, you're going out sad if you were to make that his design. Zebra hybrid who had a very I could jump better than that in my sleep. Smoking cigarettes. Oda's editor smoking Shimizu, cigarettes. has publicly stated that while the end of Marine Ford and Ace's storyline resonated with a lot of fans, the ending of One Piece itself will be much more touching than that part of the story. White beer. Zoro's gonna die. Imagine if Luffy loses loses Luffy loses his, his entire crew. Yo. That would be what? That would be crazy. That would be crazy. If he loses everything just to, uh, uh, just to obtain the One Piece. That would be wild. That would be wild. Edward that would be wild. Blackbeard, Marshall D. Teach Bro, close your legs. the first and last name of the real-life Blackbeard, whose name was Edward Teach. Oda has stated that if he could get any devil fruit from the series, Oda, not gonna lie, that was good. That is pretty good. Not gonna cap. That's okay. It would be Robin's. My man's was cooking. Allow him to draw faster. Oda's wife, Chiaki Inaba, happened to be a One Piece fan, and he saw her while she performed on stage as Nami the Cat. Uh -huh. Ah. Click on this video. Yeah, that be a couple. That's form. amazing. Um, but anyways, that's the Agris God tier creator. Subscribe to him. Subscribe to me as well. Comment down be below your favorite theory. Or secrets, not theory. They didn't know. Uh, see you. Easy. Put my glass back on. I'm gonna reach out.